prehistoric archaeology studies vain of the past for which there is no written records. In the absence of the written evidence, the study of past life and the culture depends on the material remains left unconsciously by the prehistoric man. The study of prehistoric archaeology, therefore, is very much related with both physical and social or cultural anthropology as well as linguistic anthropology. Objectives After studying this course, the students will be able to outline the nature and scope of archaeological anthropology, explain its relationship with other subdisciplines of anthropology and other allied disciplines, enumerate the different methods of studying archaeological anthropology, describe the different tool types, their manufacturing techniques, and classification to understand the Stone Age cultures, and also realize the earliest evidence of culture in the world. Brief Structure The whole course is based on choice-based credit system. This course has two sections, Theory and Practical, having 49 modules, 36 Theory, and 13 practical. The theory has four credits, whereas the practical has one credit. Each credit is equivalent to 13 to 15 hours of learning. Each module is further subdivided into four quadrants. The first quadrant comprises audiovisual lectures of 25 to 30 minutes per module. The second quadrant has text materials, objectives, summary, glossary, and FAQs. The third quadrant consists of references, web links, and the fourth quadrant comprises quizzes and assignments having 5 to 10 MCQs per module, 3 to 5 assignments per module, subjective questions or project work or group study. There is final assessment paper and question bank which can be either subjective or objective. There will be interactive session. In this session, the expert will have live interaction with the learners through video conferencing. The engagement time will be 75 hours, that is 60 hours for theory and 15 hours for practical. Learning Outcomes Each learner would like to ask many questions like Who were they, that is the early men? What were they like? What is left by them? What is a variety of evidences? Where? When? How were societies organized? What was the environment? What did they eat? How did they make and use tools? What contact did they have? What did they think? Why did things change? Whose past that we are studying? It is the duty of the learners to search answers for these questions during the course of study.